Hello, this is Mr. Jealous, and today we are going to talk about triangles. We're going to talk about their names, define them, and identify their classifications, how they are being classified. Okay, in order to earn full credit for this assignment, please remember to write down the title. Then, right below the title, write down the link that allowed you to get to this video. And make sure that you write down all the terms, all the definitions, all the pictures, if you want full credit. Okay, let's get started. So, the first four terms that we're going to have are triangle, acute, right, and obtuse. Okay, make sure that, why don't you wait until I'm done going over all the definitions and the pictures, and then you can copy them down. Remember, it's a good idea to use a lot of different color, because color helps memory. So let's get started. The first one is a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided polygon whose interior angles have a sum of 180 degrees. For the example picture, just draw a triangle. Make it big enough so that you can write inside of it tomorrow in class. The second triangle that we're going to talk about is an acute triangle. An acute triangle are triangles with all angles measuring less than 90 degrees. The picture that we'll use again, it worked for the first uh, example of a triangle, so we can use it again. All of those are less than 90 degrees. The third type of triangle is a right triangle, and that is a triangle with one right angle. The picture of a right triangle is right here. How do you know it's a right triangle? Because it has the right triangle box. You have to make sure that you have that box there. As we move forward, that's very important. If it doesn't have a box, you cannot assume that it's a right triangle, even if it looks like it. And the last triangle that we have is an obtuse triangle. It's a triangle with one angle measuring greater than 90 degrees. And that would be a picture of that, an example of an obtuse triangle. Okay? Now we're going to classify them. These three triangles are all classified or described by angle measurement. So your acute, your right, and your obtuse triangles are all classified by angle measurement. Okay? Why don't you pause your computer, copy down the terms, the definitions, and the pictures, make it look neat, use lots of different colors. Okay, let's get started on the next set of triangles, equilateral, scalene, and isosceles. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all sides congruent. So we have a triangle over here, and how do they look like they're congruent, but how do we know? The only way in geometry and the only way in math you know they're congruent is if you put some marks on them. Those individual bars right there tell me that the, th the three sides of those triangles are congruent. Our scalene triangle is a triangle with three unequal sides. The picture there, three unequal sides. They don't look the same and they're not measured the same. <coughs> Excuse me. And the last triangle we're going to talk about is an isosceles triangle. And that's a triangle with two congruent sides. So if we have our triangle, the two sides look congruent, but how do we know they're congruent? When we add in those two dash marks or those bars. Okay, and that, again, that's the only way you can guarantee that they are congruent or state that they're congruent. On the first set of triangles, the acute, the obtuse, and the right triangles, they were all classified by using their angle measurements. The equilateral, the scalene, and the isosceles triangles have all been classified by using side measurements. Equilateral, all are congruent. Scalene, none are congruent. Isosceles, two are congruent. Okay, and we're talking about the side measurements. Why don't you pause your computer, write these down, go over them. If you need to watch the video again, uh, feel free. Have a good day, and I'll see you in class.